Tech, tech deck razors? Oh, there are. There are tech tiny razors? Yeah, there yeah. are. I did actually I have one in my house. So. <laughs> <laughs> you just have it. You stare at it. You go, someday. I, I would. I fuck it. It's not as satisfying as the fucking board. No, it's to too hard to control. Yeah. yeah, you just whip it around. Yeah. And you're like, All right. What's the point? Of yeah, you need to have your two hands, two arms. And <laughs> your tech deck person penis. <laughs> Dude, I've been fucking. Yeah, when's the last time you saw a naked Barbie doll? It's been a while. Bro, I've been glimpsing them lately. I've been going, what the fuck? I forgot about these things, dude. Oh, man, dude. The second I got my hands on a Barbie doll, I stripped that thing. Exactly. Every young man just fucking. Yeah. The little Velcro. You undo the Velcro on the back. You go, Ooh, Come I'm going to take it slow. I'm not going <laughs> <laughs> to. I've been waiting to this enjoy time. this. <laughs> I'm going to suck on this doll's fucking. <laughs> I'm going to try to fit the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> I want to suck her nippleless tits. I don't know what this is. I've never been this horny that I want to consume this. You pulled it around. And I knew girls had two butts. <laughs> <laughs> Called that. Yeah, I've been glimpsing them. I was like, oh, the, the dress came off my doll. And I'll be like, God damn, hold up. God damn, Let your old man put this back together. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is how she was made. <laughs> But yeah, either way, Mattel I mean, did it right, dude. They the what? It. Mattel, Barbie, dude. I saw they put a little figure. Yeah, Barbie. I I had a I think a Jasmine doll. Yes, I had a naked Jasmine doll the other day. They had some hips on her. I said, Yo, brother. Yeah, chill. Jasmine. Jasmine brings it. Toy makers, chill. Yeah, they had a Barbie that grew tits. So what? They had the Barbie that grew tits. Like you'd move its arm and go. What? Yeah. What was this puberty Barbie? I think so. <laughs> I think they did yeah. do something fucked up. They had childbirth Barbie, I think. Yeah, they had a lot of weird Squeeze Barbies. Squeeze a baby dude. out. I think. I could be totally making Damn. that up. No, nah, dude, you're right. It was in the movie. Her name's Midge. <laughs> 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 dude, I really loved the Barbie movie. I loved it way more than I thought I was going to love it. I, yeah. I, the, they, uh, I hated the end. Though. They had it on. I didn't, get, I didn't get to the end, but yeah. while the parts I saw was very good. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Will Ferrell's in it. He's the man. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Sorry I made fun of your legs. funny. It's what? okay. I feel bad about that. <laughs> Sorry. If you short. want to take that out, we can take that out. No, I don't give a hoot. Yeah, man. I have a long torso and short. I have short legs for a man as yeah. well. I have tiny hands. I'm all torso. I'm a... <laughs> Is everybody coming out with their flaws, Sean? Nobody's coming close to it. Sean has a massive. I think Sean's giant flaws are more mental than physical. Sean, you, he's been stricken down with the. We can talk about Sean's clinical depression. <laughs> Sean, pick that microphone up. Talk about talk yeah. about talk it out. Talk man. about what you've been doing to the vibes lately. I have been annihilating the vibes lately. He, nobody's been. I've never seen someone annihilate vibes. Like this. I thought O'Connor was the king of yours. There's a new Eeyore, dude. Some woe is me constantly. King Eeyore. You're the king the of world. the Eeyores, dude. You'll the get world. out of the doldrums. You'll get I, out. You'll break your melancholy. Bro, I would fucking me. pay for melancholy. <laughs> melancholy versus cosmic confusion. Cosmic, cosmic confusion, confusion. Is, dude, it's the worst. They go hand in hand sometimes. True. I'm I'm praying for a downward slide in melancholy. Lately. You gotta take to the bottle. That's how you find melancholy. Yeah, it'll get me. It'll mm -hmm. get you there. It's the only way out or into the melancholy. That's True. what's so crazy about it. True. <laughs> it is great. I can't smoke. I've seen anymore. you take to the bottle and find melancholy. Yeah, Man, you're off yeah. the weed. I can't smoke it, dude. I get brain zaps every fucking time. You now. get brain zaps. I think I wore that part of my brain out. My part of my brain's like, bro, stop. We've processed this a thousand times. Knock it off. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Trees look cool, dude. We figured that out. Yeah. Stop. I just go <clears throat> when I'm walking. I go, God damn it! I knew it. I can't have this anymore. I've been getting a lot more done though. Way more productive. Yeah. Off the oh, yeah, I will say. Way more productive. Oh, no, we're not, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to know? So how are you, how are you coping with your My newfound melancholy? melancholy? Yeah. Uh, I just been drinking a lot. You've been taken to the bottle. Yeah, I try to find my answers in the bottom of the bottle. But these problems can float. <laughs> yeah, they can. <laughs> you're not going to be able to drown they these boys. float, yeah. True. But I've been I, okay. I've been, you know, ebbs and flows. I've never had problems. I never like did that. Like where I'm like, I have problems and then I drink to get, I just have fun. I like to have yeah. fun. Does it actually work or is it just like. It works for two hours. That's really, that's mm. nice. If you're really sad, yeah. It'll drink, work. Drinking helps. <laughs> yes. I feel like I would just cry. But then it may, yeah, but there's also that that's risk. That's what happens. Yeah. You run the risk. <laughs> yeah. So if you, if you've got deep melancholy. Yeah. And you're like, I'm just going to go out and have fun with my friends tonight. And just drink. Two hours into the fun. Yeah. Melancholy comes and you go, I got to talk to one of these guys. I got to tell these guys what's <laughs> yeah. going on. And you do it every single night. I have to <laughs> dial it. Do a different, you cry in front of a different friend every yeah, single you night. You just bash your light party out. 
You just annihilate yeah. the vibes. Nobody oh. likes me. Then it turns Woe strangers. is me. Yeah. And then you start hitting strangers. Somebody goes, hey, can I get a smoke? You go, <laughs> I go, bought them just for this. The mayor was trying to get me on the slide yesterday. I was being grumpy about that. Yeah. Yeah. On the slide? Said, I'm not here to have fun. The mayor was trying <laughs> to put you on the slide in there? Yeah. yeah. Show we went serious, to a bar man. that had a slide. I was being serious. And you wouldn't go on? No, I was serious. That makes sense. Attack. That would have been odd if you got on the slide. Yeah, I thought so, too. Sad as better. you are, guy. As sad as you are. Sad slide. guy on the slide. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Just fucking I arms crossed. Man, <laughs> I wish you, I wish you would have, I wish you would have <laughs> caught velocity like that cop in Boston. <laughs> 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 Flew out of the slide. That might have knocked me out of it. In front of all the college babes. <laughs> oh nothing like God. nothing. Nothing worse than taking a tumble in front of the college babes. <laughs> yeah, they would engage oh hyper speed. Just fell. Oh my god! Ick. Oh my god. Yeah, it gives Ew. you the ick. Yeah, that's an ick. It's all melancholy. It gives, it gives you the big ick. What for the babes? Yeah. Until you find a good guy. Yeah, scares dude, the hoes. But if you can turn that melancholy to anger, dude, you'll turn them on so much. Yeah, if you Maybe. punch a wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should have done that. Should have Although you're a wrestler. You got to shoot the legs of the wall. True. You got to fly in a single leg, take down a wall. Or just hold like a threatening eye contact with them the whole night. I've been, yep, I've been doing that. He has been hitting threatening eye contact with a lot of people. Lately. I've been scowling at people. I'm a man of constant sorrow lately. You got to punch yeah. someone at the bar. I'm dude. a soggy bottom answer. boy. What's that? Punch someone at the bar. Yeah. Is you ever see Manchester by the Sea? No, yes. I haven't. Yeah, you got to just get drunk and start just wailing on people. And then you get your ass kicked and it feels good. It's you feel alive. Thing, yeah. yeah, you go, damn, I forgot what pain really felt What was felt the like. Stephen King movie? Or the Stephen King HBO show where the detective, for some reason, they threw in a scene with him bar fighting? Yes. For no reason at all. Yeah. He just drank tequila and was like, oh, on partner, and tried to punch a guy and they beat his ass. They did that also in uh, True Detective. But, oh, right? season three. There's a little guy. It was the small white guy and the black dude. Yeah, small white guy got in a kick-ass bar fight like that. True. Like, yeah. Fuck you, looking at motherfucker. Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't looking at nothing. Yeah, that happened when I saw that Manchester by the Sea. I was like, oh, okay. that one kind of checks out. And then it checked out. So yeah. I didn't know the movie. So then I watched it and he got into this fucking. I'm like, oh, cool, Boston drunk bar fight. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, the Afflecks are at it again. <laughs> yeah. But then, uh, then you see the rest of the movie and you go, oh my god, yeah. dude. Then you're crying. Then you struck with some melancholy. Five eight four five. Showing there's a code. Five eight four five. Don't tell people your secret Uber code, dude. You get a different one every time. No, you don't. Mine's my phone number. Uh, no, I, get a, I get a different one every time. I never get a different one. It's always my. Life. It took me forever to figure it out. It was me and a Mexican guy. He's like, "What's the code of secret?" He was like, "Oh, no, no. And I was just like, code, yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't think I have a secret code." I started giving the last four of my social. So <laughs> it's it's got to so be. It's done. obviously me. <laughs> I gave the last four of my social. My fucking like debit card code. I was like, dude, I'll I'm try this. So one. hungry, and you didn't get me food, dude. <laughs> the deli. You love delis too. What? Uh, it is. You know, wait, doesn't he uh, still not get the joke? He gets it. He gets it now. Yeah, he understood it then. He just he thought. I mean, there is a part of the joke where I, there's something underlying. If it was about you, you'd be like, "You're accusing me of not helping you." That yeah. would be. That's the part he took from it. Yeah, it makes sense. But the the joke was, I was arrogant and stupid, and I was like, "I'll just go on Rogan. I don't give a fuck. He's definitely gonna have me on." He's like, "Wait, what?" And he was like, "Who are you?" Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, 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 shit. Well, you know, because you figure like you'd be in with something like this situation. I, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you, you might have heard of it. <laughs> <sighs> How long after did you go on? It's like two years. Oh, okay. Oh, year. so you had, it was two year years half. after. Yeah. Time is flying, dude. Yeah, time's flying. What the hell? That was four years ago this September. Hey. Damn, four yeah. years ago? I think four. Hey. That's crazy. Three or four. Oh, you're right. It's 2023, it's dude. Yeah, it was 2019. That's wild. September 12th, 2019. I was in high school. I remember the date because it was 9-11 when I got the news <laughs> that I was going to be on. <laughs> That's pretty. That's a great 9 11. Yeah, it was a good 9 11. It was another good 9 11. <laughs> yeah. True. Add it to the board. So far, I've had nothing but good 9 11s. No, the one, you know, the one first bad one, one was spoiled the bunch. Nuts. Yeah. Recess all day. True. I had no clue what was going on. I got to watch TV in the daytime. Get to watch TV in class. Teachers are crying. You're like, this is crazy. <laughs> and your enemies are just sobbing. Your like, enemies what are they? fell, dude. We had to go to the church. Teachers you crying. Went to church? We went to church. They sent us right home. We went to church, and then certain kids started getting picked up. And I was like, damn, I wish my parents would fucking pick me up. Of course they didn't. Yeah. I just spent the full day at recess. <laughs> 
Did you guys get like? Did you guys have school the next day? Uh, I don't remember. I think I do not had, recall. I'm pretty sure we just day. yeah. yeah no I one... think it was business as usual. And then that that was when everybody started talking. They're like, they're gonna get us. <laughs> they're going for we, fucking. McCarrickburg has such a huge <laughs> Navy depot. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, dude, it's, they're targeting the Navy depot. New York City was first. Mechanicsburg is next. They want McCarrickburg. <laughs> they did get fucking Somerset. Oh yeah. Crash Who knows? The they were trying to hit those wind turbines. In the Fertile Crescent. <laughs> trying to up the price of oil. It took me years to understand the significance of that. I was kind of like, what's the big deal? Yeah. New York. I was like, okay. It's like a bunch of people died. I'm like, eh, seems like a decent amount. But... Yeah. It's crazy yeah. that they thought it was like 20,000 people. Yeah. Originally. I mean, they did the math on how many people worked there every yeah. day. And it's like an, an insane amount. Yeah. Who would yeah. have thought we had 18,000 quiet quitters? <laughs> <laughs> where the hell were you guys dude i was watching so there's this 9-11 there's a 9-11 documentary uh it's like the best one it's it was on the history channel and it was uh it was just footage it was just chronological and it was home home videos yeah and one of them's these students from nyu i've seen that video and like ah! but i've never they're all drinking they beer. never showed in the documentary they never showed them drinking yeah and then it's like, like this week, this week a video <laughs> came out. They're yeah. all like, while the towers are on fire, <laughs> yeah. the first plane's already actually the second plane hit because yeah. they collapsed. These kids are just drinking beer, like watching it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the one girl just is like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's oh a wild god. video. What do we do? It's a wild video. Also, if it's the same video, it was I'm like thinking, 10 a.m. too. It's yeah. really early and they're, well, and they're, they're like, drinking out of like canceled. pint glasses. Oh. Classes are canceled. Let's get a couple of brewskis, watch the fire. Oh my god. But they also, if it's the same video, I'm thinking there were people jumping. Oh, I and didn't they were see filming. that in the video. They claimed there was no jumpers. Who? Pictures oh, of jumpers? I'm thinking of the Great Depression. My bad. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> there's a there's lot no, of jumpers. Yeah, they claim there was no jumpers. The Great Depression. When the, on the stock market crash? Yeah, they're like nobody actually jumped. I'm thinking of two different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like a there's that famous photo of the dude like head first yeah. going down. I don't think he's ever been identified. Probably not. I mean, he jumped from fucking falling man. high up. Yeah, true. It's a scary vid, dude. Yeah. No, I mean, you think somebody from the picture would be like. Of the dead people will be like that. Oh, yeah. That, that looks dude. like my husband. So what's, yeah. the, what's the thought behind that? It's burned to death or splat? Yeah. yeah, I think I think it was like you couldn't breathe and it, what you were holding on to was so hot. You had to just let go or jump. Yeah. I'll take the jump over the burn to death. Burn to yeah. death blows, ah. dude. I don't know if I could get myself to jump. You want to at least try your sneakers I to grip on the side? See if you can. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Just like one time, one time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> fire, the whole, air. fire department's watching. You guys going? <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna make it. <laughs> Holy shit! He's gonna do it. He's oh nope. He's off. He's off. <laughs> Spit on your hands and wipe your shoes. <laughs> it's like a basketball court. <laughs> no, that, the jumpers was truly the most haunting part of that entire. It's terrible. The jumpers was the scariest part by yeah, far. Yeah, I saw it to be on Twitter like two days ago from clips that go oh, hard. On clips Twitter. that go hard. <laughs> yeah. And the caption was just people jumping out of the Twin Towers on 9-11. It's so loud when they come. To, it's terrifying. Oh, I blocked dude. all those accounts. Yeah. I don't need to see that shit. I never watched that one. Which one? I saw the description of it. The jumpers. It's from the ground, of, like firefighters. It's just people auto play. I open up Twitter. Is it audio this? too? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's loud. Oh, it sounds sound like a fucking terrible, car accident. Dude. Oh, sounds terrible. Yeah, having a jump would. Uh... They didn't say it was so high up though. You could like die before you even hit the ground. Yeah, which can't. It's just not true. You don't think so? No. You don't think you would like suffocate? No. Not people really. skydive. That's that is. Yeah, that is definitely true. Do you think people like caught the plane, like, like how many people do you oh, think yeah. like, as it was like coming into the building? Like, do you think they were like hundred like, percent? I mean, people got that? hit by it. Yeah, yeah. Like how many? It also, like, many it also was like, probably died, just like, it's so fast and it's just a huge dude, explosion immediately. Dying in an office job from the like you know technically the most exciting thing ever too. There's a terrible thing about that. Just being so bored. <sighs> yeah. God, nothing's so ever going to happen. Oh, the most, ah! yeah. Yeah. the most important thing that's ever happened yeah. in modern America oh, and dude. the world. What time did the plane hit? Early. Eight. 
Nine thirty six. I don't know why I thought it was like eight fifty two. Nine to eight probably was around that time. Something that adds up to eleven. <laughs> I've done the numbers. You're just about to take a call. I think the bridge. second one was nine thirty. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it was it was pretty early. So remember, I I I remember being eight forty six. Yeah, ten yeah. o'clock when they wheeled the TV. Nine oh three. God damn, that's coffee break time though. They had to wait. There was like fifteen minutes in between. Yeah. Damn. Because the first one, they were like, maybe it was an accident. Yeah, that's yeah. insane. Second one, they're like, whoa. Did you ever see a plane fly real low? And you're like, it's yeah. going to yeah. Think about it every single time. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. I'm right next to fucking oh, yeah. LaGuardia. I see planes coming low. I'm like, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> Just part of, is there a part of you deep Kinship down? coffee. Part of you deep down that's like, come on. I want to see. One. I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, but that's, of Does course. see an A380 just but like slam yeah. into a building? Yeah. For sure. But that's just the worst part of you. you yeah. Know. Just a sick idea from your animal soul. Yeah. Yeah. Like if I see when I'm looking at the tr- World Trade Center from far away. Yeah. And I'm like, crossing, that must have been like fucking crossing the bridge. I think about see. where people must yeah. have been when it happened. Eesh. Like on the on the uh, yeah. George Washington Bridge would have been insane. Dude. Oh. The, yeah. All that. What a uh, truly tragic event. Yeah. <laughs> but the guy testing out Spider-Man. Is so funny. Is funny. <laughs> just like, especially if somebody else saw him, just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, dude, did you just try it? It's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm trying anything. <laughs> parachute man would have been so sick, dude. Oh, dude. Yeah, a parachute man would have been. You know they got parachutes up there now. I, I if I was up would. that, if I was that high up, I'd have a parachute I'd, on me. Absolutely, yeah, sure. dude. Wingsuit, something. Yeah, wingsuit would be wild. Have, <laughs> having never even tried the wingsuit. <laughs> 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 bam, 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 bam. <laughs> straight, <laughs> straight to another building, right in the Tower Seven. I'd land in the Hudson oh, for sure. Just coast right coast in, coast right in, and yeah. drown in your parachute. <laughs> <laughs> True. Got out of that burning. What's the second worst death? Ah, shit. Yeah, but you have your survival knife. You go. Oh, definitely cut that off. <laughs> definitely. That's I have thing. no doubt I'd be able to parachute into a body of water and cut it loose. <laughs> Uh, did you guys see that dude that jumped off the or, or crashed his plane purposely? Nah, you didn't see this no. <laughs> YouTuber. Yeah. yeah, you didn't see this YouTuber crash. Crash. I feel like you. I feel like you. I feel like you definitely. No, seen what it. happened? He he was like he tried to this ha- this happened like two was years ago. The guy ago. who came and said he said all that really funny shit while he was flying around. He's like, woo. No, no, that was awesome. That yeah, was that in was, was that man. in Massachusetts? I think so. I don't know. Yeah. What was that? He hijacked a plane. He was a dude that worked on like the runway, and he hijacked yeah, a plane. Oh shit! And he was just taking it for a spin. Yeah. And he's, he's like, crashed. "Yeah, I fucked up, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna land this thing, but don't be mean." Yeah. It actually got really depressing at the end. Yeah. You gotta negotiate from up there. You gotta say, "Dude, I'll land it, but no charges." Agree? Yeah. That's kind of like agree? what he was doing. He was like, they were like the air control people were I like, "Yo, up. you gotta land it," and he was like. Yeah, I'm gonna. He's like, I'm just taking it for like. He's like, I'm just taking it for a spin, <laughs> and then he just sailed into a fucking island. It exploded. Oh, he died. Yeah. He yes, dude. Yeah. He killed himself. <laughs> what a beast. Yeah, it was. It he was, was really. He was just out there. Yeah. He was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm done, dude. I'm grabbing a plane. It's I'm crazy. Done he flew, working. He flew it. He flew it so successfully. Like, he took it off, and he was doing, like, barrel rolls and shit. What? In, like, a commercial plane. <laughs> it was crazy. Oh, that's such a funny fucking way to go. Yeah. It's, nah. Like, come on down. Mm, nah. Yeah. You he was doing, like, Top Gun flybys. so mean if I do that. <laughs> I'm just going to park it right here. <laughs> it was the, uh, what was the guy who crashed? Oh, there was a YouTuber who, like, made a video of his plane supposedly crashing or like the engines broke or shut down. And then he was like, luckily I always fly with a parachute with me. And then he just jumped out of the plane, but there was like seven GoPros set up like all angles. And then yeah, they investigated. Clearly... They were like, they were like, you blatantly just jumped out of your plane. And then there's just a plane crashing onto California. Or yeah. The fuck he was, which is what the fuck? pretty serious. Yeah. Crime. He's going to jail for sure. <laughs> But I remember, like, he put the video out. The video is funny. How many yeah. views? He's jumping How many out of his own videos? plane. Dude, he got, like, 100,000 views. Oh, no. Not worth it at <laughs> no. all. At all. What the fuck? Yeah. He hit the eject button? 
He was on like a like a Cessna plane, like yeah. a small ass plane. He just so opened scary. like a car door and yeah. fell out of a plane. What? <laughs> yeah, it's he didn't even yeah. fly out to the top? No. no. He just literally like opens a door and like rolls yeah. out of a moving plane. And everyone was like, dude, no one just flies with a parachute with them. And yeah. he was like, luckily I've always got my parachute on me. So he was just like, yeah, crazy. Is that, or he was like, the engines are going mayday, mayday. Yeah. It was like, yeah. no, he was so calm because it was like, it was clearly not real. And he was not really great at acting it out. And he was just like, oh, no, the engines are gone. <laughs> and then, like, apparently, like, all all these people and, like, they were all saying they're like, he didn't try anything. He didn't even try to, like, reboot the engines. Yeah. It was like one engine and stalled. He just happened and to have like, a GoPro. time to jump out of the plane. Yeah. Happened to have a GoPro on the wing. Yeah. To watch him jump out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was kind of open and shut. Yeah. What did the what did the plane hit? It hit like farmland. It landed in like trees and like a, in like mountains. And really I think it was in California. Yeah. yeah. Randy's definitely yeah, Randy's doing driving. He's like, there you go. Yeah, he's uh, doing just fine. Did you see that video Tim Dillon shared about Australia? Not which one? It was crazy. It was like local news in Australia, and they were just like zoomed. They had a surveillance footage of a guy with COVID leaving his house, and they were like, "Don't be like him." There's like seven. He's people. a bad guy. What? Yeah. Dude, they I publicly think... shamed it. They're arresting people for being outside. Yeah, they've been they having... go to work sites and check everybody's fucking cards and shit. Do they really they send you home if you're? I don't know. I mean, dude, yeah, Canada's on fast tracking to be doing something very similar. But Who cares, dude, dude, oh, dude, that's that shit's gonna creep in. Of course it is. That's gonna creep. That's a bad thing, dude. I know it's bad. That's full power to all of our enemies. All we just have to say is full no. power to all of our. I mean, for sure. It's like, go, no, thank I'm God America's a heavily armed fucking population. Sure. Thank God we didn't let them take our guns, dude. I'm dead fucking serious, dude. No, I know you are. I'm that's dead fucking serious. That's what's like. <laughs> that's the, that's the reason they can't do that shit. <laughs> yeah. They've been trying, dude. This is this is wicked what they're up to right now. Yeah. In Australia, dude, you can't go f if you're like five miles outside your house, they'll come grab you and find you yeah. with five Gs. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. I don't like it, dude. I mean, they're gonna rile up. There's gonna be they're, they're gonna tap into like those boys are yeah really those criminals. I mean, dude, they're white, fucking disgusting white trash true. criminal ancestors. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna I mean, imagine getting up. kicked out of Ireland. <laughs> How shitty you have to be to get kicked out of Ireland. That's just, who they're working just with. Just sent to Van Diemen's land, dude. They're gonna Not get. Good. Tell you, man. They're uh, they're fucking with a bad, some bad hombres. They're gonna turn white dudes into bad hombres, dude. You think? Oh yes. They're gonna, <laughs> they keep this shit up. That's gonna be. It's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, they'll get fired you up. You need dude. white dudes just in their Under Armour, just fucking chilling, chilling, tucked in, just drinking some light beers. Yes. Once you start just fucking crushing these dudes, they're, the, the broskies. Once are you say you can't spaz. go outside and drink those light beers, yeah, man, they're not gonna have fun. Can't get your vitamin D. You need I get my vitamin D. D. I get my magnesium, dude. I'm, you know, they can't tell me anything, honestly. Yeah, I, but dude, it's it's gonna. Has anybody, to, have they tried yet? Have they called you and been like, stay inside, dude? Nah, but there's there's been there's been rumblings. I my uh, my personal network has been some people who have been kind of even grumbling about your not like my immediate my immediately house cavalier absolute, attitude. My house is an COVID. absolute sanctuary. Yes, there's obviously no. You're very dissent. cavalier about this COVID? disease. I don't do that. I've been just checking the numbers. I'm not afraid of it. It's just, you know, it's like for younger people. I got an argument with my babysitter about Matt, this. Just get the vax, dude. No, dude. My body. Matt, my body, my choice. My body, my choice. My body, my choice. My body, my choice. Listen to me. <laughs> just get the vax. Wear a mask. My body, my choice. My body, my choice. My body, my choice. I want you to get it. It makes dude, me. It's it thing. worries me that you I don't check have the numbers. It. If I found if, if the data were compelling, I'd obviously get it. I got all my other shots. The way they're rolling this thing out is just freaking me out, mm. man. It's freaking me. Pfizer's FDA approved now, bro. Yeah, dude. So was Vioxx. I used to take Vioxx and it gave people heart attacks. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's Vioxx? It was like an anti-inflammatory medication. I had like my, I hurt my ribs playing sports. I was playing rugby. It's full contact. It's crazy. No pads. And the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got metal, metal, metal cleats. Thoughts about the, <laughs> yeah. I strained my, like. All the like best athletes I knew played rugby in school. I mean, it's, you know, it's a different type. I could see if you're, if I had like, you know, I'm playing more for like the love of the game, but if I had like money on D1, like if I yeah. had like, if I had obviously like committed myself, I just didn't choose that path. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, I, my aunt gave it to me for fucking like my, I had inflammation in my uh, chest. Like my rib cage got inflamed. Oh man. Yeah. It's brutal sport. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so I was taking it. it seems she, brutal. I wouldn't want to play that. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fun. But she called me and she uh, <laughs> she was like, oh, yeah, you got to stop taking that. Like, people have been, like, keeling over for that. Really? Yeah, I was in high school. I was a youngster. I'm like, what the fuck? It's probably why I get fucking heart palpitations, dude. Probably. It has nothing to do with my anxiety and my stress, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I, you know, I, you know, I knew they were going to pass it at FDA. This is the fucked up thing when they're trying to give it to, like, the cheering, dude. Like, 
two year olds yeah. and shit. And it's like, dude, let's just wait three years. Let's get some long term yeah. safety data. We don't know. They don't have that. And if they do have that, how'd you get it? Yeah. You know, so it's like, how did they, how did they get FDA approval without long term safety data? It's been a year, bro. And it's like, give it to the geezers. This is my whole thing. This is what I was arguing my babysitter about recently. It's like, <laughs> dude, if you're if you're like 21, your chance of dying from your early. Babysitter. Oh, dude, she was pissed. If you're if you're, <laughs> if, if you're 21, dude, people hate this. Uh, what? They, like, if you come in and hit people with that, they like, got, she was furious. Uh-huh. She, she yeah. started hitting me with it because people just start, they start these conversations thinking you're just going to be like, yeah, fuck those fucking people. And I was like, you know, your chance of dying from this are like 0.0001, right? And she was like, what's well, going up? I'm like, going up to what? She was like, uh, uh, it's just like, there's a lot of people. I'm like, do you know anyone? Mm. I'm, like, I'm like, young people, healthy young people. And she was like, well, well, I'm like, dude, if you get the vaccine, which this is apparently on, you know, on the books, it prevents you from dying if you have yeah. it. So go fucking get it. You don't have to force babies to get it. It's like they're not at risk of fucking dying. Sure. If you're a grandparent, be like, I don't want my baby to get me sick. It's like, dude, you don't deserve the title. I yeah, hate to yeah, say yeah. it. If you're a grandparent, like, eh, you're a pussy, dude. Yeah, bro. If I have a, if I have a grandkid, I'm not going to. I would be like, dude, if you wipe me out, you wipe me out. Let's go. Yeah. I'm done. Absolutely. Grandparents trying to stick around like fucking slugs, dude. They are fucking slugs. Get the fuck slugs. out of here. Just like, dude, you're just... Let's go. Crack the piggy bank. I was bank. watching. Kick uh, the fucking bucket and cr- let us crack the piggy there's bank. There's an HBO doc on Yeah, we do need to crack open the <laughs> piggy the bank. Fuck yeah, yeah. we got to secure the bag. There's dude. an HBO doc on, uh, it's like in the same breath. It covers like China and the US with COVID. But they were showing all these like Chinese grandparents getting shipped out. Really? And it was just like. Where they send them to? They like ran out of beds. They were just, there's one dude, his mom's in an ambulance and they're like, we can take her out, but she's got to get out of the ambulance. There's no bed here. We can take her to another hospital. It's going to be the same thing. Or you can take her home. And they hear they were like, you have to decide right now. And he was just like, I guess take her out and she'll just die. What? Like it was, but they were showing these geezers and it's like, dude. Old as hell. Okay, but dude, that, in, in the Eastern countries, that's like big time disrespect, dude. The elders should be, first of all, they should be living in your house, first of all. That's jacked up. They ran out. They ran out of... Uh, Beds over there. Yeah, they got hit. They should have hit up. Uh, Cuomo would have sent him over. He, I heard he was shipping people to nursing homes. <laughs> yeah, he would have locked them up, yeah. dude. Cuomo was locking them up. Yeah. Good God. Yeah, that was crazy, man. Yeah, they, just, dude, we're living through a psych, like a psycho time period right it's now. It's a weird time period. I would tell certainly. people, you know, stay steady. Don't freak out about it. But like, like you were saying, I think you're right, dude. This will definitely pass, but it'll pass. But they're we got they got three years, dude. I, this is what I predicted, dude. Right as soon as Biden won, everyone everyone was like, you know, oh my god. I'm like, no, nah, give them three years. This is yeah. girl brain. We're getting girl brain right now. Girl brain. Yeah. Oh my god. Eh. Everyone's scared and shit. <laughs> It's like, we'll do three years of girl. It's like getting, letting your girlfriend decide everything for you for like a, give her six months to let her make all the decisions. Yeah. And see where you're, see where you're headed. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Dude, four years from now, people are going to be slamming that fucking, you're just going to have like truck drivers with their, I vote, hey, votado stickers. Be like, I voted today. Yeah. People are going to do that. This is going to be a, I think mm. in four years is going to be a fucking landslide. What, for who? Republicans. Who do you think? I don't. Know, I have no idea. But it's like yeah. I don't know. Hopefully, he just, hopefully that, just a normal guy. Dude, why can't they find a why normal dude? Why can't there dude? just be a normal guy? Trump sold out. Well, Trump, got Trump got booed. Trump got booed. <laughs> Trump got yeah, booed. I saw. I saw the full clip though. He brought him back, dude. Did he really? Right away. Did he? He was like, "Look, if it doesn't work, I'll call Alabama first. You'll be the first." That to know is pretty place. funny. Like, oh, that's uh, so fucking. Funny. I mean, dude, he he he's a master of the crowd. He is pretty. He good. lost him hard though. He was like, "I got it." They booed. Girl was like, "Boo." <laughs> I didn't know Trump was gay. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, I had a, uh, I was actually laughing. Would you have booed? The Trump? Dear, would you have booed Dear Leader if he said Oh congrats? my God. I wanted, I wanted a more than booed. I was like, I don't fuck it. I would have fucking, <laughs> I would have started, started foaming at the mouth, dude. <laughs> no, I don't, dude. I think people should do whatever the fuck they want. It's just like, chill with fucking jabbing babies with this shit, you know? And like yeah. kids and stuff. It's like, they're not at risk, dude. They're just not. And if you are worried, get it. And it'll protect, it'll protect you according to the scientists from dying. Yeah. Unless, you know, until apparently it's a uh, efficacy has been waning after six months. So now they're doing the boosters, dude. I know. I got to get the boosties. Yeah, man. I'm excited for my booster. For the boost. Anytime I get a vaccine, I'm like, nice. And then I go about my day. Just say, things are good, guys. Tetanus I like. Tetanus I like. Dude, again, I'm not against it. It's just like I, I don't really fuck with stuff if I don't know the long-term effects. I'm a hypochondriac, True. bro. Yeah. So it's like you're telling me I have to do I'm like, no. Yeah, I, I thought I took too many vitamins today and was freaking out because I had a rash on my knee. So I'm like, I'm not taking this. <laughs> I'm not taking this thing. Dang, bro! I remember though when it came out, there was always like at the beginning of COVID. The doctors were like, "This is gonna be like six years before we're through mm-hmm. with this." And I remember being like, "Shut the fuck up!" 
I think they're right. By the time we're oh, done yeah. with everything, oh, yeah. yeah, it'll be like five years. They already have start COVID. to finish. They're saying there's COVID twenty two coming, COVID twenty four. Really? Yeah, they're they're saying like these <laughs> things are coming. It's pretty nuts. Yeah, it's just the internet, bro. Yeah, oh, we for shouldn't sure. have this. We're talking about the internet. It's too much for everybody to I, have. I genuinely think, dude, this that's all is, this. Uh, it's just because everybody wants the clicks. It's just fear. Everything's. Yeah, it's it's like kind of a weird form of fire. Yeah, it just spreads real quick, and everyone's like, "Oh, did you hear? Oh, uh, that fucking!" Uh, and the next day, they're just like on it something totally different. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you're right, dude. I think this is. Uh, just watch sports, and drink. True, dude. So I, I thought the about government this. government comes to take me away. That dude. happens, dude. I I thought about this today. I was I was reading the book. I finished the book. Siddhartha, Good luck, carrying Siddhartha. Me. What? I'll oh, be like a rock, dude. When the government comes to my house. Oh, they're not getting me, dude. If they welded my door shut, I wouldn't know for four days. <laughs> <laughs> just go back, like this door stuck. I'll just fucking chill. I need more blizzards. <laughs> Today's podcast is brought to you by Dairy, Dairy Queen. Queen. <laughs> Have you been welded into your house by the Chinese government? <laughs> Have you been fucking uh, British bulldog by an Australian <laughs> police officer? <laughs> Have you been fined five thousand dollars? Did you see Trudeau's speech about she, she covery and she session? What was that? I forget what that was. He was like, we need to. What they call it? It was something. I, I don't even know the context of the speech, but he was using instead of recession and recovery. I think it was a recession and depression. Yeah. He was calling them see, she like for feminine issues, I guess. Because girls stink and recess. <laughs> it was something That's, like, they call he the was great like she session. we need to stop this. We need to hopefully get out of this she session before it becomes a she pression or something like that. What? It was it was brutal. Yeah, that I'll guy's tell you tough. what, man. Can you talk about killing other countries' <laughs> leaders or no? Yeah, you can talk about killing yeah, anybody. I would fuck that guy up. You would beat his ass. Beat him to death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, All right, you can't I'm kidding. That. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Dairy Queen. True. <laughs> no, I'm God kidding. Damn it. Um, that was a joke. That was a sick joke. That was a genuine joke. That but I would square joke. up with him. I'd have no you would problem. Square up. It's on site. You would fucking. I'd fucking. I'd hike the trousers. Yeah. Fucking. Dude, no, I was watching him give a speech about just basically just taking extreme measures against the citizenry. Yeah. What if like when his vice, <laughs> what what, is, what do they have in Canada? Like a vice, like associate oh, president like a, or something, yeah. vice minister. Who they, knows? they have those bullshit have fucking bullshit title British ministers, names. dude. Yeah, British names. Fuck that, dude. Yeah, I don't like British names. Nah. Make me sick. Apparently our Congress is built, is designed after like a Native American kind of powwow set up. Mm. That's, That's what not, I heard. That can't be true. That's what I heard. The Congress, the numbers or something. I forget. Or maybe the way that I don't know. I could be wrong. It could be totally wrong. It's a book I read was talking about uh, how like naming teams like the Redskins and shit is actually like a super high honor, and like only a weirdo would actually be like, dude, like we're being like these guys are brave and valiant, and they're warriors, and we fucking yeah. want to be like them. And then he's like, only a weirdo would think that like that's attacking Native Americans. He's like, we fucking. He's if like, they come country, the fight, if they come for the Fighting Irish, I'm playing rock again. True. If they try to take my Fighting Irish logo, I'm. Wait, they're going to try. They can't take that. They're going to try to take no the Irish people Irish are, are, are going to be yeah, offended. You never know. Irish, who knows so? who's gay these days? True, dude. So this is what I've been trying. <laughs> I've been trying to jump into this, dude. I read in Siddhartha. Yeah, and I, I just couldn't help but chuckle, thinking about you as just a negative Buddha, <laughs> just the Buddha. <laughs> just this going. Is he on a negative because he sits under the fucking the the whatever that mango tree or whatever that kind of tree is. Uh, I forget what it's called. The bo- dude. What? You had an NDE. No, I, I told you right? when I had to get a vape for Spade back. You when call? He, did you call me first? I called everyone I knew. Yeah, but who'd you call first? I can't remember. My did cousin Joey, I think. Was his SG, dude. Hmm, I can't even remember. You called me first. You were like your life flashed before your eyes. Crush, you, you saw you and me crush. getting married on a beach, and you're like, <laughs> "Oh my god, this teen almost took that from me, dude." Shane, this is crazy. I almost called, died at the gas he station. He called Shane. And he didn't even tell me for like an hour and a half. He oh, called cool. me out of out of breath from the gas station. Dude, I'm jealous. Do so you right call Shane like right after that? Yeah, he called. He said, and, like it's a 20 minute drive to my house. So he said he went, Shane. And I was like, Who Bro, is this? What? <laughs> is this little baby Billy? Are you in trouble? He's like, Yes. I was in so much trouble at the corner store. It's like, Baby Billy, who almost hurt you? He said, It was a black guy, of course. <laughs> I said, Bill, come on, man, don't be racist again. But you wouldn't have given a. Campaign have you area? died? Yeah. I'd, I would sob, dude. You I'd wouldn't be, give a f- love you, dude. I'd be devastated. 
fuck you. No, I you love you so that. much. You this is Sleepy that. Bill. Don't trust anyone. Sleepy of this. Baby Billy. I, I love you so much. I'd be devastated. He's like the bad He's asleep. He's angry. It's like being drunk. Don't worry about it. Why are you looking like that, dude? You can't be tempted by him. Do you guys ever get scared when Bill gets sleepy? He's just, he is gay. <laughs> Little baby Billy. <laughs> Why are you so sick? Yo, he's going to get you. <laughs> yes, come closer. Are you accusing him of being like tired and getting uh, gay? Just, you know, when you get tired, you get horny. Has, yo, be yeah. honest. This is a safe space. Has he ever made an advance on you? Never. You? And I actually, dude, <laughs> yo, you know how gay, this is very gay. Think about this. You know how weird it would be if you were gay and you had to hang out with your bros? Bill's obviously straight, but. Got an alibi last night, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> <laughs> How tired were you? Huh? <laughs> That's called a layup, dude. <laughs> Woo! Three! Uh, so, you want to know something funny? This yeah. is just a little little urban legend. Yeah. So the reason in World War One, I thought we were telling Israel ghost stories right this now. Is, this is the spookiest. <laughs> yeah. I've never been more scared. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this is they, the scariest topic of all time. At the end of World War One, when they needed to, <laughs> you sound like you're laughing. The Purple Gang. <laughs> Listen. Lighten up your face to tell stories about the Jews. It's the funniest thing. <laughs> Yo, symposium, chill. Don't get stuck, dude. Don't okay. come down, man. We're at the we're in the right. Andrew, but, So at the end of World War One, they were at a bit of a standstill. <laughs> And then England released that when they broke up the Ottoman Empire, they were going to give the Jews Israel. Because Ooh. they knew that the Jews controlled everything. And they would make sure that England won World War I. <laughs> now that's just a... Uh, that's a religion. That's a, I heard that from Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. Oh my God. And that's a very popular podcast. I didn't come up with that. Dan Carlin said that, not me. <laughs> now it's time to get down to business. And uh, pretty much... <laughs> Good start. That's the, I'll that's, tell you what. That's right actually path. a pretty good start. <laughs> if me and Matt have learned anything, you're on the right track. <laughs> you keep farting into microphones in basements in Philadelphia. You're going to be a millionaire. <laughs> you are seriously mean? like you have Down syndrome yeah. right now. <laughs> Not and that's fair. coming from the balls. <laughs> it's coming from the king of DS. <laughs> the sound of the beach brings great joy. Dude. <laughs> Million dollars. That's a million dollar well, idea no, right no, there. No. The sexual insane. tension's insane, dude. Yeah, it's Whoa, nice, dude. what? I can't wait to, when I get you, and don't get me wrong, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna rip those pants off. I'm gonna piss on your ass. You look weird. <laughs> I'm gonna bend you over that pool table and I'm gonna piss all over your ass. Make Why it wet. Why is he wearing all these loose clothes? I've never <laughs> seen him do this. He likes to dress up for me. I'm constantly like, figuring shit out. Dudes figured out when they were like 21, and I'm like, oh, dude, like life's crazy. I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like, and then I start thinking, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm f retarded. <laughs> yeah, quote that. <laughs> <You're talking> Somebody <laughs> write that down. Somebody put that in quotes. Say spud. Thanks. Quote, spud. I'm constantly figuring Spell out things other guys red. are thinking. I'm like, whoa, I'm that's always 20 years whoa. later. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's good meat, dude. <laughs> Yo. That was good meat. It all went to my ass, dude. That was good meat. No, it was, it was not like, you know. So no, I'm saying yeah, Thank you. Appreciate good meat. it. The game of fucking But yes, crab, yeah, you were hanging crazy. out with a dude. Shut Everybody I've ever chilled with is like. <laughs> No, nah, he was bummed. I had, yeah, okay. he was severely bummed because we were going to do the weekend before that, but we couldn't. I, I was. Space about to throw up. I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm trying not to burp in the He's microphone. Like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Just on the couch. I was trying not to. Shoo! Burp. Shoo! Actually, I'm definitely. I'll be but, back on the bottom in no time. That's the thing. Pause. I don't. It, Bill, it's not all about gay sex. <laughs> ring ding 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 ding. Ring ding 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 ding. Ring ding ding ding. Prong. <laughs> Yo, you're telling me you're not retarded. Huh? <laughs> Dude. Nah. <laughs> His favorite song is the one where it's like... Yo, you're, you're beat, yo. dude. You're beat. What's the song where it's like, yo, I'm going to kill myself? What's your favorite song? song? My oh, favorite part is when he goes... No, no. Oh, logic. Wait, you're not no, logic. Logic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Logic is your favorite song. Yeah. Logic so well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That shit. What? <laughs> Logic suicide hotline. I can smell Bud Lights, dude. 
<laughs> comes right up. Dude, you fucked up a leather couch. Oh, shit. In the third grade, I thought I was gay. <laughs> what are they hitting you with at Wawa? That's chapter. Who says I'm uh, gay? The best song at Wawa right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> borderline. That's borderline. Yeah. Stop. Bill, don't push it. <laughs> that, that literally was making That's its borderline. way past the Bill, church. do not push it. <laughs> <laughs> this is an Airbnb, dude. You can't shit. I may be a fecal freak. <laughs> You can't shit on the ground, dude. You cannot shit your pants on the ground. I had a pink eye scare all week. (laughs) What? I thought I had pink eye. Yeah. In the third grade, I thought I had pink eye. (laughs) No, you thought you had pink eye this week. Yeah. Be honest. (laughs) (laughs) Keep up, bro. Uh, I don't. I can't believe we all don't have. I. How do we not all have pink eye? Dude, I, I scratch well, I my ass. Any, dude, I, <laughs> I dig into my ass on a weekly basis. Once yeah. a week, yeah. one night a week, I'll scratch my grundle and butthole. <laughs> yeah, and then rub your eyes like a second grade, and then I rub my eyes the entire. And then I'll go to sleep like this, dude. <laughs> I, I, forgot, I, mean, I forgot all about this. When I pee now, I take both my thumbs and I go. I take a sample of my nut sweat and go. What? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize I did that to the other day. I go, I'm peeing. I go. Yo. I just check the humidity. I take the barometer. I go. I take the hygrometer and go. And I just take a quick sample of oh, my nut sweat. Oh, you're talking about the side swipe of yes. this? Of the. Of my nuts. Under my nuts. Under sack. your nuts. I just go. What do you see, all. Is just it just all to see right? how sweaty it is. I just check the sweat. And I go, yep, my nuts are sweating. And they go, oh, God, I have nut sweat all over my hands. I do it like without even thinking. I've been doing some shit. I just realized going to sleep without like washing my hands. I'll eat. Wish dinner, I didn't say that out loud. Go to sleep. <laughs> That's fucking nuts, dude. That's, crazy. That's really crazy. That's crazy. Dude. I didn't have anything funny to say because it actually bothered me a little. <laughs> now, <it's- laughs> I'm just saying. Where I'm peeling the layers of the onion, Jay, dude. What's the nastiest thing you've ever done? <laughs> I'm really not a freak. Been there, done that. I'm, I'm really not. You wish I was. <laughs> wish you you, you wish you were a freak you'd like me. You'd love to have me on all You wish you were a freak like me. You'd love to see me squeal. <laughs> on all fours, squealing. <laughs> you want to put an apple in my mouth. You used to listen to Petey Pablo. <laughs> you know, Cain killed Abel. I know. I know. Cain? Abel. Abel. You are Cain, dude. Moses. You are a fucking freak. <laughs> Moses. No, you're Cain. Moses. <laughs> Abraham. Retard. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it really is Christian. This is a Christian Jew world, dude. The Muslims got to get out of the Holy Land. Let's say, let's be honest, dude. This is a real talk. <laughs> but no, you have, you're, I do get pumped on how much dick is inside of my body. Pause. Oh, it's a- pause. <laughs> pause. 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 This is a good podcast. <laughs> People are going to be driving their cars and saying, wow, what a good podcast. I, dude, honest to God. If I was in traffic right now and I was listening to this, I would go, I'm doing well. To be fair, this is better than being stuck in traffic. Can we give ourselves that? Yeah. Yeah, shit. <laughs> it's like your, your skin's probably being destroyed from alcohol. Here's what you can do. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. That's so The most funny. interesting man, dude. Real man, self development plan. Dressed like a fucking cocksucker. Dressed like Walt Whitman. He's dressed like a, a barber at Walt Whitman. <laughs> yeah. He's dressed like an old timey barber <laughs> with a long beard going. It's day one, how to talk to anyone. 18 minutes. You need to focus for 18 minutes on day one on how to talk to anybody. That's what you need to do is go around and talk to everybody. It is a sick move, though, to be like, all right, nothing's working for me. I'm going to dress like I'm from the 1800s and see yeah. what's up, dude. And And how to talk to anyone. Here's how. Be retarded. <laughs> you can walk up to anybody. <laughs> Go to the park. Walk directly up to someone. Day two, the power of habit. That's 20 minutes. You need to focus yeah. on a habit. Uh, day three, the four-hour body. That's probably, I don't know. Day four, here's yours. Rich dad, poor dad. Yeah, Isn't that no. a classic fucking retard? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm saying retard. I a told lot. my dad, I was like, I read Rich dad, poor dad. And my like, dad, I figured it out. I'm just going to buy assets and I'm not going to have to work. And he was like, do you know how much assets cost, you idiot? And I was like, what? Uh, I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, I can just get a loan for a house. And he was like, yeah, dude, you need like $20,000. And I was like, dude, what about fuck. day six? The power of Fuck now. You, dad. The power of now. Also, the 10 times rule. Unlimited money. 12 rules for life. Limitless. Mm-hmm. Think and grow rich. It's another book. Day 12. Quiet. Why don't you shut up? You don't need to go talk to everybody. Be the quiet guy. Nice. Think and grow rich. The 80-20 principle. The five love languages. (laughs) Oh, my pinky blind. I listen to audio books about the five love languages, (laughs) mate. What was the uh, the the 5 a.m. club? 
Get ready. Get You're in. about to join a, the 5 a.m. club. I was in the 4 a.m. club today. I was in the 5 a.m. club today fucking putting lotion on my herpes. <laughs> <laughs> day, uh, here's a good one. Day 18. Elon Musk. <laughs> just Elon Musk? <laughs> it's just says Elon Musk. You need to learn about Elon Musk. Obviously. You want to be a Peaky Blinder? Learn about space travel. <laughs> day 20. Steal like an artist. Day 21, having a five-inch dick is actually kind of sick if you think about it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, no, day 21 is inner engineering, which is probably similar. <laughs> Fuck this, dude. How to do nothing. I got that. Day 23, how to do nothing. <laughs> that did you just film me. Having an average penis is actually really sick if you think about it. Day 25, joy at work. I mean... The first, the, the first picture you sent me was the funniest one. The how to, the, I can't the, find the it. guy who's just standing there like this, and it's like in a full Peaky Blinders. I also started getting uh, dressed like a school shooter. People I will be it, definitely interested. Be like, yo, what the fuck's up with that? I guy? watched it so many times that now my algorithm on Instagram Reels is dudes normal dressed, holding the camera, no. walking back Peaky Blinders. No, wait, that exists. That exists. Yes. There's a world of Peaky Blinders, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, I. I said last night, I was like, that's funny. I sent you the thing. You hit me back with like nine deeper levels of Peaky Blinder to <laughs> world. And I, dude, I literally, dude. I was shaking the bed laughing. And Peaky like, Blinders what? Groomsman. Click, go Google that Peaky Blinders up, Groomsman. That click me images. Up. Just look at these dudes. Dude. And how sad it is. The, the main, this, oh my Let's God. See. And there's always a groomsman that's like. I have these fucks. Dude. You think one of them has definitely has razors in his hat? I mean, it's like, yo, whoa, dude, whoa, dude. Dude, dude in the back holding an old hunting rifle. Uh, the main look at the groom, dude. Who's the guy at front and center? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> these. Ah, uh, uh, god damn, dude. Someone got. I would, I would. That's what happens when you get too much pussy at the Christian one. youth group camp. This is my favorite one. The kid. The kid front right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He can't pull off. The, he's a portly binder, dude. He's too fat. <laughs> he can't pull it off. When you hit me with the group, I lay down last night, was shaking my bed, laughing, and I was I was had tears coming out of my eyes. Imagining all the dudes taking the pictures of the Peaky Blinder groomsmen, and I was like, Brittany was going, "What are you laughing at?" And I had to get up and show her, and she actually laughed. Oh, nice. She laughed. She went, "That's fucking crazy." That's his. Uh, you. I mean, I can't even imagine. Like, I would prefer a. Star Wars. I would prefer if I was a groomsman and they're like this Star Wars thing. Yeah. I'd be like, that's pretty actually. That's funny. It, you're at least you're not trying to be cool. Yeah, if I, you're I, a Star Wars guy, and you're like, I want a Star Wars themed wedding. It's you know like, what's up? you know, everyone's gonna be like, you're a dumbass, <laughs> uh, but okay, it's your fucking thing. If you're a Peaky Blinders guy, you're trying to be a tough, cool whiskey guy. That's that's families where there's not a single funny person in the family. Yeah. The only person like, yo, you see those guys like Peaky Blinders, dude. <sighs> dude, we're tough. We're a tough family. We are. That reminds of that Very reminds me of, of us. From the streets. We're like the Shelby family from Birmingham <laughs> post World War One. Those guys must have stunk <laughs> so bad too. The Shelby's? <sighs> yeah, they must have smelled like absolute dog shit. It's a real bummer because I used to like that show. <laughs> I watched. I liked the first two season seasons. Season one and two were sick. They were good. And fucking then it got, what's his name was nice. And it. Tom Hardy. That was Tom sick. Hardy as a fucking jacked mean Jew. That was tight. Yeah, he mean played Jew the shit green. out of that. But I, uh, yeah, I kind of <laughs> that show kind of lost me towards once Tommy started getting too big for his britches. I started going all right. Yeah, I'll tell you who would be a nice Peaky Blinder who wants to be a Peaky who? Blinder. Boy downstairs. Oh, he wants to be a Peaky Blinder so bad, dude. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Pope wants to be. <laughs> He wants to be a Peaky Blinder. He'll never, he'll never tell. He'll ne I mean, he'll tell you. He'll say yeah, the yeah. show's all. He's right. The show is good. I'm not. Yeah, sure. I know in his heart of hearts, he wants, he wants, to t he wants to be Tommy Shelby. Wants to be a blinder. He wants to toss that on. He'd be a blinder. Yeah, but that's the thing with Tommy. He deserves it. He let him throw on the Tommy Shelby gear. He could pull it off. He'd look good doing it. He'd be the most interesting man in the room. If he put yes. that on and stood there, and people would be like, "Fuck." Yeah. Girls will love him. Oh, I thought it was him coming up right now. It's the Chris man. What up, Ocon? Ocon, you got to take a shower? No, we were just talking about the pig and the walnut, you fucking sack of shit. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. Pig and a walnut, you never dude. Question, you never question where the pig got the walnut. 
I don't care about you the gotta, walnut. You just got to grab the, the pig walnut. Personally. Isn't that the whole <laughs> know what the pig you're wants. You're trying to deflect from the walnut. Yeah, but you didn't know the walnut. That's the thing. But you isn't that the whole problem? Oh, I know the walnut. No. I'm familiar with the walnut. His argument was he knew word <laughs> for word the Second Amendment. <laughs> I, and did, that I was, didn't. You vaguely I was remember. Close. I was pretty you close. Were close. I looked it up. at. The, I mean, we all had the phones. We, I looked it up. <laughs> what are What's the words? Like, all ye eagles can clutch Damn, I wait. I waited until you were talking about Tommy wanted to be a piggy blinder before I came in. Yeah, the dude, price of a shower. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the bathroom's still fucked up. Dude, the bathroom's dude. been fucked up for it's yeah, insane. for a month. You gotta rise up against the Greeks. <laughs> no, these are They're classic doing a nice job, Oh, man. really? I'm the sorry. The bathroom's gonna be smell. nice. What? It's fine. Uh yeah, that's true. It'll definitely tie so, it up. Yeah. I actually I actually you didn't hear it. I did say this is my side of the story. It, I was hammered. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to say they were wrong. Yeah. I was right. I did say that. Yeah. However, what I vaguely remember was the argument was that you were saying that actually the Second Amendment would not allow for rifles like this in everybody's hands. Yeah. And that there was some verbiage in the Second Amendment, which you then fake recited. <laughs> and I was the only one who knew I the was, pig. It was 3 a.m. I was the only, I know, but I was the only one who knew the pig would lie about the walnut. <laughs> and it was, an it was an acorn. It was an acorn. And I was like, this isn't a walnut. And of course, Sam with his literary bullshit <laughs> fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> Sam with his big words. <laughs> you can go fuck off, dude. No, that's the way the argument goes, is that there's that, that framing statement. But yeah. whose argument? So I remember hearing people that. who don't like the Second Amendment. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What? Uh, how was the Taco Bell post post that? Taco Bell was very good. Taco Bell was pretty good. And I and I was saying Taco. I was saying I was hammered and I didn't know the argument was as intense as it was. And then Chris gave me a hug in the lobby the next morning. I was like, "We're fine, dude. <laughs> but God, we're hey. going to the game. <laughs> Get off." Dude, well, you were at the other <laughs> other end of the table going, "This is never going to happen again." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All and three of you were fired. Was, <laughs> and, then, and then you went to like, oh, God. the thing and fought them about the stadium. Safe light. Safe light field. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, man. Let me see your hands. Yeah. I was let, like, me, let me see those callous dude, hands. Killer. You fucking that's Ohio killer. working boys. <laughs> that's killer, dude. Dude. There was a lot of clenched fists in front of us. I was like, let me yeah. see those hands. That's awesome. A lot of clammy fucking clenched yeah, fists. Like, oh, I work in an office. Oh. He knows I work in an office in Ohio. Dude, yeah. Like they didn't have their fucking newsy caps of razors. Dude. We could fucking- dude. Tommy, Tommy almost got him. He could have peaky blinded him. <laughs> True. <laughs> How much does Tommy Pope want to be a peaky blinder? I mean, he would. I like, man, Tell if you, you ever gave him the chance to dress like that. Halloween, dude. He could do it for Halloween. in heaven. I know. He does have the self awareness to not do it. Yeah. He does. Do you think he has a three piece hanging up, though? In his mind. (laughs) It's in the closet in his mind. He's got a tweed. Three piece suit. <laughs> he goes to heaven. <laughs> he goes to his room a and monocle. opens the closet. <laughs> monocle. And that's hanging in there. Not a monocle. Those <laughs> round glasses, pinky ring, Jeff cap, <laughs> tweed suit. Dude. He's a peaky bun and an old hunting shotgun. Yeah, walking walking through like an auto plant with sparks <sighs> flying and yeah, stuff. Dude. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. his cold right hand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I do like when dudes galvanize around a thing, just being like, "Yeah, dude, that's fucking." All. Dudes were Fight Club for like five I mean, that's, years. I, I, I fully galvanized. I forgot how much I love college. I forget how much I love college football. Yeah, the second yeah. it's on, I'm like, I love this so much. <laughs> that's the thing you're watching. I'm talking about like when you take fiction. I do it constantly with fictional characters. Like I'm that guy for like a yeah. month. But when there's like things that get into like osmos into like dude culture, mostly yes. office dude culture. Yeah. Office dudes get completely destabilized by like manly TV shows. Yeah, it's because they're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I mean, that's the point of Fight Club. There's a guy in an office like, I'm only identifying by my... I- a room over here, though. Yeah. Come on. Water's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just get over here. From the Matt and Shane's secret little tiny podcast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, is that how you want to start? <laughs> So do you want to go with that? Everybody, the hilarious Shane Gillis is with us. Hey, yeah. I think Shane's picking on you because of his face. Yeah, it's just my <laughs> it's just pile of dough face. <laughs> Justin, uh, yes. tomorrow oh, morning. The O'Doyle yes. rules of comedy, Shane Gillis. <laughs> yes. This is creepy. I didn't like it anyway. I thought yeah. it was kind of demeaning. But also, like, the, the real way you find out you're ugly also is, like, the people who it's like, oh, you got a match. 
It's like, yeah. fuck, this ugly bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's always, you do a credit check and a background check, and it's based off of like you actually having good credit and making good money, and you have to be with a certain... Fucked again. <laughs> well, like every one in a thousand photos, I'm like, sounds lucky because he just fucking he joined up with these other fucking fatzos from Staten yeah. Island. You might so be the hunk of the group, dude. So he's he's just might a be the handsome one. The a guy gave me uh, on Thursday in Harrisburg, gave me a ride to the strip club, and then I let him sleep at my parents' house. Hell yeah, that's how I treat my fans. That's crazy. Shout out Ray from Pittsburgh, <laughs> <laughs> the guy went... who slept on my mom's couch. <laughs> you literally, honestly though, kicking you and your like fucking goth, you're, like your goth carny fans out was probably a good thing. Not like, at she all. Probably did the right thing. No, Maybe. they lost. Then he started like getting my drinks, but they were like. It's kind of maybe ignores. This isn't maybe the juggalos have gathered at that bar before, and they understand. What, like, the <laughs> they're like, they're like, we're good. It's we're not going to be paid in clove cigarettes. <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> thank, no, thank you, sir. I don't want to be paid in clove. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fucking warlock spells. <laughs> I need to be to be paid in long bendy rings. <laughs> yeah. A bushel of hair taken from yeah. other witches. It took um, us about a month to power wash the Fago out of here. We're not having you goddamn kids back in here. It was like my first strip club in 10 years. Really? Yeah. You do all this cool shit with Lewis. I think that's like... Yeah, yeah I agree. Lewis. It's Lewis. It's Lewis. It's Lewis. It's Lewis. It he wasn't... Lewis. You gotta be... Here's the thing. You gotta stop being such a beta bitch with Jay, dude. You gotta just fucking say, I don't oh, care. Oh, you're you a beta say? bitch oh, with Jay. Shit. No, Guaranteed. Oh, no, I know God. what you're doing. Jay, is he a beta bitch with you? Does he do whatever you want to do on the road? Guaranteed. Lies. No. Lies. No, I live my own. I stay after they, and get they, fucked they, up uh, by myself. Yeah, he stay, he I stayed eat out pussy. past I me. go eat pussy by myself. No. He goes and eats pussy. Yeah, I eat pussy. pussy. I do eat pussy. Let me smell your breath. <laughs> okay, I believe it. That's the way that he fucking did that. I believe that was even <laughs> The strip club, it was so fucking... Lewis bought me a lap dance, which was very sweet, with a girl who's gorgeous. Too gorgeous to be interested in giving me a lap dance. Yeah. And I hadn't been so in a strip club. So I didn't know. I know. I know they're not. <laughs> but she wasn't even putting on a so weird. Face. This girl was in love with me for He's a song. A it has to be her like idea. The girls in the strip club aren't even interested in me. <laughs> no, no, no. That's why I don't go to strip clubs. I would never assume any of them are. They of course, are, dude. You're of course. great. You're, yeah. strip, you're a strip. You, you like are the embodiment of a strip club oh, song. Dude. Lewis has something so funny. Song. Too slow. I was in the zone, dude, at my strip club. When she danced, when she I danced, I tried to make out with one. Yeah, you I like, did. was going for it. I, I kept being like, "How much money do I have to give you for us to make out right kiss? now?" Kiss? I know. And she you was trying like, to offer money exactly, to kiss her. She was like, "Are you trying to kiss me?" And I was like, <laughs> "That's pretty much why I'm here." <laughs> I was just in the strip club looking for kisses. <laughs> 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 the kiss. the just just old loneliest old man, old man on the planet. Man, uh, I'm gonna head down and get some smooches just over at the. Uh, man, like, man, I'm gonna be honest. Several men have given me money to blow. That's it literally what she said, dude. She's like, "You're like the first guy I've ever heard say he wanted to kiss." You're the first guy that's especially since my mouth. Just covered in other guys' cock. <laughs> yeah, what was her price? Uh, she w she refused, and then I was blacked out, and then Beezer gave me an Adderall. <laughs> You're back in the game. That was all she wrote. No, yeah. then I, then Ray gave us a ride home. And, uh, <laughs> and then Ray kissed Ray. Slept on my mom's couch. I have shit, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Shane is a liar. I want all the fans to know Shane's a phony. Shane likes me and is very sweet. I love and then he comes him. on he the show. You. He's a, you, a cocksucker. But in life, no, I, get uh, it. I heard the joke. That's how you responded, you <laughs> fucking dumb dickhead. I guarantee you missed me. <laughs> I called Shane. Right. Don't pack it too tight. You're packing it too tight. Now you're going to actually hit me. Put your hands by the side. You don't throw it too hard. Hands by the side. I can't. The hands on if I throw it with your side, it's going to the ground. I can't throw it too hard. Go ahead. Ooh, boy. Lewis. What do you guys think? Can I hit him or not? I believe you're in you. You're definitely going to hit it too tight. Is that a loose ball? No. He packed it tight. I think, I think he's going to If I tried to throw this hard at his now face. Now it's got to be target. Yeah. What are you going to hit? hit I'm his, saying so his forehead, forehead. Hit forehead. his left, your right tip. I'm not trying to hit so hard. Forehead. 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 In his left eyeball. Oh, no. Wait, oh, Lewis, no. Lewis. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis. It's not a... It's not a... <laughs> I can't wait. I'll be able to squint. Get him in the chops, Just close bro. your eyes so you, you won't know what's coming. Do you close open your eyes. Open your eyes. Close your eyes. Eye. So open close your eye real wide if you don't believe. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If you don't believe that I'm going to hit you in the eye, open Shane, your eyeballs real Shane, wide. Hold it open like this. He's not hitting you in that eye. You got back up as hard as you can, Lewis. He's not hitting you in the eye. He's not hitting you. Hold your eyes open. He's not hitting you in the eye. He's not hitting you in the eye. Believe in something. Yes. Shane's a pussy. No, no, no. Shane's a pussy. No, 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 no. Shane's a pussy. Open your eyes, baby boy. Let's go. I thought I can't hit you in the eye. Shane, eyes. no chance he hits you in the Zero. eyeball. He's going to probably hit the glass. Shane, I promise you. He's not I was the one who eye. made the fucking bet. Shane. This was my idea. So then let's I said, I won't move. I bet you don't. Yes, oh, dude. Oh, no. Yes, you're you see that coordination? studio, bro. <laughs> 
Okay. I'll let you throw it, but it's so close. You open your suck. eyeballs. I'm not opening my eyeballs. Wait till you see what <laughs> I'm afraid never of part then. Of I'm afraid of you. Wait till you see my eyeballs. Because you know I have dope fucking throwing, That's the only bro. Thing that could look, look, throw look, a quarterback. That's why bitches love me. Show me your throwing motion and throw it at the door for a second. Just show me throwing motion. Aim for the middle panel. Middle panel? Okay. <laughs> dude, oh my dude. god, Shane, hold your open eyes open, your man. Hold eye your open, eyes dude. Open. Hold it open. That was insane. He missed dude. it by three feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's long, wider than the door. <laughs> he missed the width dude, of the door. I would have hit the. Would have hit oh, the it was even, I could have imagined. <laughs> That was a 50 he's, cent. He was, he's fighting his range right now. That's yeah. off, dude. I'll just let it throw it at my face. I'm not, I'm not Shane, holding my eyes. Shane, you back up as far as you can. Lewis, yeah, let us just sit. Hold yeah, your yeah. Uh, one eye. Hold it way oh, open. Just one eyeball. eyeball. One eye, dude. <laughs> it's so hard, dude. Like this. Real big. Yeah, but if you fuck my eye, I'm fucked. <laughs> dude, there is no, I got no hope. way no he shot. hit your Shane, eye. No Did you see the process throw? All right. <laughs> you get one eye. You get one open eye. Don't fuck my eye up. <laughs> Do it while you're laughing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's shaking up with his eye all open. Is it funny? <laughs> Hold your eye open. There's Come not on, a chance. Clockwork Orange style, baby. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that Target. Look at that real estate, Lewis. You got so much. Lewis, Lewis you got to focus here, man. Think I just got to focus. To a tight Lewis, end right put there, on Lewis. Eye of the Tiger. Lewis, remember what the stand did to you tonight. <laughs> remember what Bobby and Alex. And There's Jordan a shot Dan Lewis hurts himself throwing this. And all those cab drivers, Lewis. All I'd of say them. It Think it of all the cab 50, drivers, 50 dude. Shot. There's equal likelihood that Lewis hits himself in the air. Yeah. No chance yeah. I see it's you in the eye. Closing my eye. You guys got to time this because you got to see where no, it hits. Dude, you got to hold. Pin it open, dude. Obviously. Here we go. It's going nowhere near you. Oh, Lewis, man. come on. This is everything you've worked for. You're not standing? I can't You're believe you think seated? there's a chance over this, Shane. I'm oh, so no. confident. <laughs> <laughs> if There's anything, not, his hand's going to cut it. You got to back up, Lewis. You got to back up as far as you can back up. His hands might act as a backboard, though. Yeah. Here we go. No, you gotta hold it open, no, dude. No, you gotta hold it open. Hold it, it open. That was, that like was the deal. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, that's, there gonna, you go. that's gonna block it. No, it won't. No, you, you gotta hold it. That's too tight of a rim. Hold it open. Yeah. Shane, you gotta yes, hold perfect. it open. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Go, Lewis. <laughs> Becky, can you please get a close-up shot of Shane's face with his eyeball open? They did. They are. Lewis, come on. It's great. Come on, come on. With no with chance, mic. dude. We should just do. We should just go Lewis. back and forth until one of us hit the other one in the eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This thing has bad radio. Oh, God. Oh, oh, wow. That was not a bad arm, shot, forearm. though. Hit his forearm. Lewis it, it, was it, within it, a foot. I closed my eye, though. I do believe. You cheated, dude. I do believe. Redo. Need to get a do-over. Redo. <laughs> do you see now you have nothing to worry about? Uh, go, Shane, go. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute, now Shane, play, Shane played sports. No, I, I played. No, he doesn't know how to play sports. played offensive line. I can't throw. Yeah, he doesn't know how to Here we throw. go. Wow. Lewis, your eye looks oh, wow. fucking terrifying. So big, dude. It's so big. On, bro, eye for eye. Like dude, it's on. so big. It's so big, dude. <laughs> So easy to hit. Oh, 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 oh. You blinked too. You blinked. I was close. One of them oh, was like, really? "Where the fuck is Shane Gillis?" <laughs> I, some of these guys just plow right through it. Like I, this one guy, <laughs> he's. I mean, I like him. He's a nice guy. Yeah. This is some fucking dude from Canada that sends me <laughs> pictures of his food every day. <laughs> like, wait, every what meal? Single day. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Constantly grilling meat. <laughs> and he so just he's sends your me personal Joe Rogan Instagram opening feed. Opening the fucking grill and filming it, and that's it. And I'll occasionally tap like on it. Oh, there's yeah. your first problem oh, every day. You know, yeah. I didn't realize it's been a while since he sent me some meat. Oh! 